Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Overwatch, and today I'm going to be starting out with CSGO, where we obviously see the suspect is B-hopping out through connector like a speed demon de through mid. Man, how did he get there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm watching Foon. If you guys don't know who Foon is in CSGO, you gotta look that up. Look up that YouTube video. After this video. Okay. It's... He just b hops. I think he's walling. Because if you're gonna go all out on hacking, just go all out. You know what? If, if you're using the most obvious hacks and you don't want to be... You want to be blatant as hell while using them, just get the walls, get the aim. Just get the B-hop too, you know? He's like, you know what? They're going to do a run boost right here. Oh. <laughs> They're sucking at it. Oh, he's like, oh, they see us. He's trying to get a jump off. That's 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 almost impossible. They're, they're actually changing nuke. Too. So, I don't get why people pl still play nuke. Because... We know, we already know this guy is already using external existence. Because... There's no way you could hit that many B hops in a row like that. What is he like strafing on the ground <laughs> to move faster? Or using upside down views or something? These are not real B hops, folks. Right now I just want to look for I want to look for aim assistance or wall hacks. Those are the only two uh, things I'm looking for. Or griefing. So, really, if this guy kills two people in a row, I'll put down griefing. Or kills two people in general. He doesn't have any skins on this account, so he knows... This is the kind of guy that goes into matchmaking. He's like, I'm going to buy 15, a $15 account. Yeah, silver one. Yeah, screw screw the matchmaking system. I'm just gonna go in, blatant cheat, and just have some fun with matchmaking. This is the worst. This is the worst type of person. Yeah. We got walls. We got aim assistant. I mean, no, we don't have aim assistant. We got walls, and we got external assistance. Okay. How come they have a bot in their team? Oh, they were rage hacking because the terrorists are up 12. So it's it's the game where someone toggles on their hacks because they're getting absolutely destroyed in the match. So this guy is like, you guys want me to hack? Yeah, whatever makes us win, whatever makes us win. And then the suspect just like goes ham. They must be talking a lot of smack to the uh, CT C team. Yeah, just go that. Look at that. That's, that's walls. You can't even spam through there. These are the worst types of people, by the way. Like, if you're 15 and 3, take the loss. Don't freaking hack and make it 15-15. Holy crap. You're going to waste everyone's time, to be honest with you. Because the match is going to get overturned anyway if you blatantly cheat. If you need to blatantly cheat to make it a tie, then really don't just don't cheat because it's not going to be worth it in the end. You're just wasting everyone's time. There's the aim assistance. So right now we have walls, aim assistance, and external assistance. Right now we're looking for griefing. Once griefing is checked off. I'm going to be down and chilling with whatever this guy has. You know what? Some cheaters hack accounts if they want to get revenge on someone. And if they don't really like someone, they'll hack a person's account and they'll hack on it. Like literally, try to get the person a vac ban so they lose their account. And they can't trade skins on like CSGO. Some people are that cool. Now the team's like, oh shit, this guy, he's hacking, what do we do? And this, this bot, bot husky, he tells a story in himself. 
he shows that they were down so much that he just left and he felt hopeless. See, even the other guy is bunny hopping. You have two guys cheating. So what this guy is doing is he's queuing up with another cheater, his friend, also known as Wagon. B hop cheater I'm talking about. A cheater never goes without another friend. Because cheaters are just, are just annoying. If you cheat in like Global Elite or Supreme, then more than likely they're going to be with another person. If they're not with another person, you have a higher chance of getting kicked in that high rank. Because people are more noble. Like in there. When I'm at Silver 1, they're um when I was at Silver 1. When there was a cheater on the team, no one wanted to kick him at all. They're like, I want my win, I want to rank up, I want to get out of silver so people can stop calling me a freaking idiot. And that I have the IQ of like a piranha. That's griefing. So we have everything checked off. Man, this guy just has the nuts. I think we call it. Let's just, let's just see the pain that the CTs have to go through. Look at this. Freaking Foon, or what's his name? Fodder. He has no good skins. That Tech 9 ground mortar that he got was from uh, a drop. That's why, that's the only skin we see on this account. There you go, it ends at the perfect time. Well, that's two, 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 and two. Who would have known? It's really rare to get a case where it's walling, it's aim assistance, it's scripting, and it's griefing. Onwards towards the next case. Alright, so we're with suspect number two, and he's on Mirage with an AK. It's, the score is 21 and 8, very likely to be hacking. And these are back to back both. So, right? That's bad. First half, very high kill ratio. Doesn't. Heard him go to cat. Having a bit of trouble aiming. Oh, he's 14 and 10. I thought he was 21. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. So, he has a deagle. He's the only one who did not spend his money on an AK. But he got head armor. He got a deagle, though. What was that glowing thing? If someone could tell me what that glowing thing is, I'd... My life would be complete, because that's kind of scary. I actually saw that in the tournament. The same when you see the pictures, it's like a ghost. It's scary. Not really, I don't, I don't really think so. He hears him going. His teammate called. The one thing I don't understand is why he's using a D rather than a real gun. He hasn't even switched the M4. He's like, you know what, I'm just going to go all out, I'm digging. He wants to go for the knife. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, so he gets the knife. But does he stick to the deagle or does he... No, he doesn't. Alright. He really doesn't want the bomb, apparently. His, other, his teammate doesn't want the bomb, but he doesn't want to give it to him. Wait, he put the bomb before. He already flashed B. His teammate's like... Being a blocker. Grenade. What are they like talking to each other? And they're like, you know what? I think there's a guy outside. We shouldn't go. Let our teammate die first. Oh no. T suspect's being like, screw it. He's pushing. <laughs> cat off. But, but you have mid control, so you should know if someone's cat or not. Let's use that window boost. This guy's under mid. They're calling that out. First spring. Natural. He's at 11k. Okay. And he doesn't switch to an AK. That's, that's really strange.
This guy has lots of experience. Kill that right off the bat. There's a second spray. He hears him CT. He's gonna flank him. Oh, he's not. That's surprising. So right now, player Rose is gonna hear Sparrow. Tap shooting, very normal. He went 22 and 10. But it's just because he's playing very, very smart. Okay, I'll take that back. He's not playing very smart. He's playing like an idiot! Like most people would say. Alright. What is this toggle on time? I'm gonna keep in mind that headshots with a pistol are very easy. Really gonna let him knife him? <laughs> what is this? And now, now his teammates are like, "Let him ace! Let him ace!" You, you only have two bullets, dude. What are you doing? They're not even guarding the bomb, to be honest with you. They're literally just hunting and letting the suspect do the work. I could put him down for griefing, but I'm not going to, because. They could just be having a nice little banter. It's like, I want to get out of the window first. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to get kill them. So. He knows he's there. Oh, he wanted to kill his teammate. So he went to steal his ace. Oh. Oh, a 4K. I just honestly think this guy's a smurf, to be honest with you. Like, perfect positioning is not an option when you're doing overwatch. Like, that's not... Okay. This guy just likes to push as a CT player, so we can expect to see more of that on the CT side. As long as it's not holding a corner, I'm all for. It's more entertaining. His teammate got picked off because they pushed apps from the back. Alright. He's holding for underpass. He's actually going to get a kill because he's not going to shoot. Look at it. There we go. They're just getting outplayed left and right. Rose is on more ex more health, so he or she should be able to hold up. They're both lit. Rose is going to run close. Not to get hit by the nade. I find it weird when some people just don't hop mid. Like, what is this? Okay, so the suspect always pushes. Like, always. P90, pistol, M4, everything. No, he's recalling. He's, um, saying, oh, the bomb's down, bomb's down. And teammates don't care because they're getting the kills anyway. I just feel like this guy's a smurf. Throwing smoke. Smoke. Are you there? They have a bot, so they have a guy that's raging. This guy just has a good game. Sometimes you get a 30 bomb. Who cares? But they know he's in the corner. Dumb move by the suspect. Nothing. It's just a guy that gets reported for playing well. And if you're going to report someone because you think they're hacking, just report them anyway. It's not that much of a big deal when an Overwatch list person says, oh, they're not hacking because... It, it can't... What I'm saying is it doesn't hurt to report someone if you think they're hacking. So thank you folks for watching. This is Neotis Ranger. This has been some Overwatch. And see you folks later in another video. Hopefully sometime soon. See you folks later.